Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be hopefully finally straight piping the 650i. Yeah, I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life. There's no telling you. Guys, we are here. Beautiful morning in sunny California. Um, you guys can check on the dash right here. Finally, I don't have like an oil to highlight. It says oil levels are good. This is what I wanted to see since the start, so that is great news. No lights on the dash, as you guys can see. It was having a really rough idle in the morning, and the idle is kind of low. I do think that's still because of the PCV. It said it was supposed to come last, like two days ago, and it said it was supposed to come today, but it hasn't came. That's why I took the car home, so I can get it fixed here and drive it, but it's not coming. So I just head to the shop, do a full straight pipe, and then I actually have a surprise for you guys right after we hear how this thing sounds but uh without further ado i mean this is a convertible right so <laughs> let's go ahead and drop the top so yeah i do think that putting on these glasses makes me look like somebody that i'm not um that being said putting down the top you know does make me feel like somebody i am not and i, I don't really want to say the word because i'm gonna try to keep this pg-13 but i think you guys know what i mean like in a vert with these glasses look at this even though even the procedure of it going down makes me look like somebody i'm not anywho look at that looks so sick though the process <laughs> Not bad, not bad. All right, so now that we have all the windows down, let's go ahead, head to the shop. It's gonna be a fun drive. Uh, catch you guys there. What's up, guys? So we're officially back at the shop. We got the beautiful 435 just chilling like a villain. I'm still trying to figure out an interior I should throw in for this car. Let me know, guys. Should I put in an M4 interior or should I do a full custom interior by LND Solutions? I'm actually thinking about doing full custom seats with like like engraved things on the seats and even diamond stitching, or should I go with like M4 competition, M4 seats? I don't know. Let me know down below because I do want to change these out these are base non-heated black seats I and mean, they are sport but i mean it's pretty standard my goal for this car is to make it literally the best looking 435 i could possibly make it i have huge plans for this thing it's nowhere near complete and i really want to start off with this interior now i love the steering wheel it's one of my favorite steering wheels i've ever had on any car shout out to Azza for that i love the carbon fiber from keys motorsports but these seats just look boring i'm just so bored of it so luckily it is a black interior so all i gotta do is pretty much swap the seats i don't have to swap out the carpets the dash or any of that stuff so that all being said uh let me know what kind of interior you guys think i should go with diamond stitching or like white maybe diamond stitching or maybe a red interior from an m4 and for competition seats let me know guys what you guys think it'll look super clean in here meantime i gotta get this x5 out of here i gotta move drive this car a little bit forward and i gotta get this 435 out of here look how close it is i barely cut it right there right here this looks super close i probably could have on it was so stupid of me it was so stupid john was escorting me so shout out to john for actually helping me out so i didn't actually crash and destroy any of my stuff but getting this out alone looks like it's gonna be an absolute pain but wish me luck guys wish me luck hope i don't destroy anything i want to get the six series in here and straight pipe it so yeah we gotta go full time i suppose get these cars all situated and get straight to work Guys, I am sweating. I worked out this morning. I didn't put that obviously on video, but I did work out this morning and I'm sweating in the garage. And it's Ramadan for a lot of you guys who are fasting, so you guys know that the struggle is real. Cannot drink or anything right now. And uh, yeah, I could probably use some water, but we got a pursuit. But without further ado, got the three cars lined up. I really want to line them all three. These are, cause I never actually had all three of my cars together. Uh, obviously the 435 is mine, the 650 is mine. The X5 is actually half mine, half Devon's, but I never actually had three cars at once and they're all together. So I thought that was pretty cool. Took some pictures. I'm gonna be editing them and then putting them up on my Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram already, make sure to follow me down below. Without further ado, now we got the garage space all cleared up. You can get the 650i in here and just drop the exhaust. I'm gonna drop the exhaust see how it sounds now i know i didn't fix the pcv valves already so it's probably gonna smoke which is i don't know i, I don't know how that's gonna be but it is what it is the pcv valves are supposed to come today but they got delayed again so it is what it is i want to i want to get some content out for you guys so if there's some smoke your man's gonna persevere i just want to hear how a v8 4.8 sounds with a full straight pipe i think i'm gonna keep the cats in the headers because they're one piece i don't want to remove the headers so i'm gonna i'm gonna pretty much do it from like the secondary cat all the way back or if there's no secondary cat just from the cat back pretty i'm pretty stoked i mean it might sound super loud but i'm pretty stoked without further ado let's get it up on that lift yeah don't mind that bag up there And just like that, the car is finally all the way up. So that is perfecto. So that actually took a very long time 
just to get this car up. I had to move all the cars, took a few pictures. But anywho, now that we're down here, I really want somebody to help me install this AC belt so badly. I really want AC in this car. But anywho, let's go ahead and just take a look at this exhaust. So here's the cat. This is a ginormous cat. And it goes all the way up to the header, unfortunately. So I think here back is a resonator delete. So, oh yeah, it is dual cat on both sides. But unfortunately, they're like the headers connected on each side. So we're gonna go ahead and just remove this whole resonator. Remove, I think this is like a second second secondary resonator. I'm not really too sure. Maybe two, there's two resonators on this car. And then go ahead and remove the mufflers as well. That should make this thing sound insane. And just start bolting it apart. I don't know how it's gonna be with one person. I bet you it's gonna be super heavy, but uh, let's figure it out. Guys, I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing this. I swear to God, this exhaust is about to fall on me. I'll be fine, but it's a little scary, not gonna lie. Oh my God, God, this thing is so heavy. Oh my Lord. Basically, resonator, I think secondary resonator, mufflers. I think when I put this back on, I'm gonna cut off the mufflers. Makes this thing a whole lot lighter. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. Anywho guys, thankfully that came off. It didn't kill me, so that's a huge plus. Um, and now I think the car is pretty much ready to get started. The cats are still plugged in, so I shouldn't get a check engine. This should just be a full straight pipe from the cats all the way back, which is literally from here all the way back. So, oh my God, this is gonna sound loud. So let me go ahead and move this exhaust out of the way, get the car down and give her her first start. Now I don't even think I'm ready for this. A 4.8 liter V8 straight pipe for the most part. Let's get it. First startup, this is gonna be absolutely insane. I've never done anything like this. I've only done a muffle delete. So this is gonna be some next level stuff. I forgot. The exhaust is in the middle of the car. So you guys heard that? It sounds pretty like mean. That's what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and pull it out and uh, take it out for a few little rip. another rep from the inside oh my god this thing sounds so mean this is insane let's go ahead rip it down the road let me set you guys up let's get it guys so uh, I actually really do like the sound which I, I honestly didn't anticipate I'm not a huge like sound person but this thing sounds insane the only thing is this is supposed to be a luxury car I have a proposition I reached out to Valtronic and you guys know that Valtronic sent me on exhaust from my 435 and I absolutely love it. it actually amplifies the verbal sounds there's no drone and on top of all that you can even make it quiet when you want to and I think that's a huge important thing especially for a luxury car so this is what I have in mind I'm thinking about going resignator delete but then a valvetronic in the rear what do you guys think so basically it always sounds like this but if i have the pipes coming up all the way to the rear we should be able to get some pops and this thing will sound insane when we want it to just from a touch of a button so if you guys want to see that all you guys got to do and help a brother out please you guys have to just get them to a thousand subscribers i think they only have at 250 so if you can get them to a thousand subscribers they will send out a full valvetronic kit with tips and everything for the 650i so huge guys please help me out help a brother out help valvetronic for being an amazing exhaust company 
and let's make this happen. So again, guys, link down below. I'll put it the first thing. Just go ahead and click on their link. Subscribe to the channel. That's all you gotta do. And as soon as they had a thousand subscribers, we're gonna go ahead and get a Valtronic for the 650i. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump in the car and see how it sounds from the inside. Because I know I enjoyed it. Let's hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> like what? Downshift. Oh my God. I wish I had somebody else here to help me vlog. Look at this, guys. Let's get it, let's get it. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Oh my God, you can't be. You can't beat a V8 sound. This thing sounds insane. Oh my God, guys. I can literally feel the radiation of heat coming out of there. So anywho, it is, oh my God, guys. It's so hot and I am fully drained out. But anywho, let's go ahead and cut off both mufflers because we're never going to use those ever again. And just to install the two resonators and that's pretty much it. Remember guys, get Valvetronic to a thousand subscribers and they literally sent me an axle back Valvetronic for the 650. And we can make this thing sound insane. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i do a resonator delete, all that stuff at the shop. So yeah, guys, if you can get Valvetronic to a thousand subscribers, We'll have a Valvetronic for this car, so this thing will always sound really good. And at the same time, we can kind of suppress it, get that luxury vibe from the car at the same time. So it's kind of a win-win scenario. So please do me a huge favor and just go down there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and chop up this muffler and throw up the resonator and everything. And at least get it to where it's a muffler delete and pretty much most of it's getting directed to the back, not the cabin, because it is a convertible on top of all that. In the meantime, I don't want a whole bunch of smoke coming right into the car, especially this thing's already leaky. This thing's already smoking a little bit because of the PCV valve. So once those come in, hopefully it should fix the issue, but still, it's a lot of heat, a lot of everything right next to the cabin. It's not what we want. So like I said, let's go ahead and chop this thing up. So the exhaust is all put back together other than the muffler. So uh, let's hear our sounds just without a muffler. Now this is how a muffler delete sounds on a 650i. I really hope the PCV is what fixes the smoke because uh, the only flaw with this car, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and turn it around and get it parked inside the garage. So anywho, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I'm, I don't know if you guys can see right there, but we got a bunch of boxes of mods for the 650 and the 435s. I'm actually might be getting into the 435 in the next video. We'll see because I have a whole build series ready for the 435 because we're trying to get that car to 400 plus, at least 400. And if we need to upgrade the turbos, I want to go crazy. Now, don't mind your sweaty man. He's going to go ahead and conclude the video. So yeah, make sure to check out Valvetronic down below. Subscribe to them so we can go ahead and get a Valvetronic for this guy. Wrap is already coming in the mail. I went ahead and got a wrap that's iconic. You guys probably know the color. It's huge. It's actually a color of a friend of mine that uses it for all of his cars. That probably gave you guys a huge hint. So anywho, that wrap is coming in the mail. The steering wheel is here. Suspension's here. And hopefully getting a Valvetronic. It's all up to you guys. So if you guys want a Valvetronic, subscribe to them below. We'll get one for this car. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.